What's going on guys? It's your boy Triple G coming back with another video. As you can see beside me, we have Dark Nemesis. Yes, if you look it up in your app store, Dark Nemesis, link in the description below. It is a new MMO RPG type game. I've been grinding at it for about a week now, but the game is relatively young. It's only about a month old and there's a lot of people in it. It has some cool PVP and also some PVE content in a campaign mode. It is uh, friendly for anybody who just wants to get on and grind away. I've enjoyed it tremendously. So if you guys are interested to find out more about this game, stay tuned to the video, guys. All right, guys, if you've stuck around long enough for the intro, then you guys know how I do it, man. We are back at it with another war game. And boy, we're warring in a little bit of a different style this time. Not so much tanks, but we got some cool characters in here, different class setups and things like that. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. So you can see right here, I am in EST 60. OK, that's Eastern. And you can tell by here you have America, which is recommended, of course, because I'm in America. You also have Asian servers. You have European servers. Right. And inside of these uh, servers, you know, you have people that are in your area. I think that's super cool because, you know, it's important to always play kind of with players uh, in your timeline and in your area, you know, so there's not like a bunch of translation problems and stuff like that. But if you guys want to use the European servers, you can or whatever. But let's go ahead and log into the account. I really like the graphics on this game. I think it looks super sharp and amazing. I mean, look at that. It's a it, it, it's it's a bit of a grindy game. Let's not lie. So check this out. I am at the cap of a level 85 so far. Um, and that what that means is, is that, you know, as you progress, they actually have a cap on how far you can go. And then it the ceiling gets higher and higher and higher as the game progresses, which I think is neat because a person can't just, you know, spend a bunch of money and blow away. Yes, they can spend money and get some items, but they, they can't just, you know, take off from everybody else and get ridiculously ahead. It has a cap. And what I mean by that is, um, all of the items uh, that you can possibly upgrade and get are bound by two different things, right? You have stamina right here. And as you can see, available times zero today to be able to buy them even with, uh, with gems or something. Uh, but yeah, you, are bound by limitations as the day goes by. So you get to grind so much, and for that day, you're pretty much at a stopping point. And you can have fun with the game, but your grinding is kind of a way. So it kind of puts people on different planes. Now, whenever you're getting experience points to, you know, get your... Uh, your player level up, they actually have a mechanic in the game that when you're already maxed out, your experience points are just your experience points uh, flat out. But if you are new to the server or you're somebody who's kind of behind a little bit, they actually give you a bonus. So you'll get like a 30% bonus or, you know, an extra percent bonus to be able to, you know, get your way up to what they consider the threshold or the normal. So I think that's kind of cool about the game to try to keep people kind of even and stuff like that. I do see that there is kind of, you know, a bunch of different ways, you know, to pay. So like, you know, in VIP, you can obviously get like, you know, go crazy and purchase a bunch of stuff and get some of the best of the best stuff. But you can't upgrade it all the way. What I mean by that is you, you can upgrade it to a certain point, but then you have to have things like stamina and other items to be able to level them up and they will, it'll get to a point to where you're kind of bound for that day. So it does kind of have a ceiling to it. It has a threshold to keep the progression of the game. I really think that's cool for, you know, people that want to, you know, get into the game to know that you're not just going to get completely blown away by everybody else. But I'm not going to lie that they do have an ability to pay and get some killer things right off the bat. But you're not out of the water. You can grind away on every event, get into a good uh, alliance and stuff like that. I did notice just from the week of me grinding on it, though, that this game progresses very fast. And what I mean by that is see all these modes right here. Each one of those unlock as you go up and they unlock 
pretty fast. Like within days, it was like one after the other after other. So there's a lot to the game. There's a lot of grinding. There's a lot of events. There's a lot of stuff that you can get. Like take, for instance, all these things right here. You have your spirit, your forge, your companion set wings, all this different stuff that unlocks. And it, it takes you for a tailspin. You know, it's like, whoa, man, all this stuff. It's, it's crazy, man. There's so much stuff to the game. And that's why we're going to go over each individual thing in different videos so that everybody can understand each item and how to key in on each item and also what's ahead. Because a lot of things will get unlocked. So a lot of things that you see, you might not understand, will you know, make sense when you start unlocking them as you progress. But nevertheless, I've pretty much unlocked almost everything up to about, you know, a level 85, but I think level 92 or something, you know, you get like it says, the awakening unlocks at level 92. So most of the stuff is going to unlock, you know, about that. So we're once again, like at the week mark, you know, of, of that grinding or whatever. And I, I, I bought a couple things, but you know, hey, <laughs> You know me, I got to buy a couple things. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys thought that this game is something that you want to get into, there's a link down in the description. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you, but we are going to be back at it with some more videos specifically on key items coming up. Stay tuned until next time, guys. Peace.